With countless SEO tools on the market, two names dominate the conversation, Hrefs and SEMrush. But when it comes to getting real value for money, which is better? In today's video, I'll dive into their features, their databases, their pricing, of course, and what they each bring to the table to help you decide which tool works for you. Let's start with the first impressions, user interface and experience. Both tools have a clean minimalist design. Hrefs keeps things simple and easy to start with a simplified navigation versus SEMrush's busy sidebar. SEMrush have recently redesigned their interface as of 2025. I do personally feel it's a little overcrowded. This can be a little overwhelming even for us experienced SEOs. However, it's perfect if you love customization and digging into more granular data. Now we're we'll digging into one of the most essential factors for each keyword the keyword database. Hrefs has almost 29 billion keywords worldwide, whereas SEMrush's database exceeds 26 billion entries as of 2025. How they use these keywords is also an essential factor in comparing the two. Hrefs has a keyword explorer, which gives detailed insights into search volumes, traffic potential, and related terms, questions, and results page analysis. This is incredibly useful if you're looking to rank for main keywords to drive your traffic. SEMrush's keyword magic tool is very similar and also has a cool feature of categorizing keywords into commercial, transactional, and informational. This is very handy if you're working with many keywords and need to categorize them into parts of the buyer journey. Next, I'll cover the backlink analysis. They both offer quite different approaches to a backlink analysis. Hrefs has one of the most extensive backlink indexes available. Whilst using self-made metrics like domain rating or DR and URL rating to assess the quality of a backlink. This makes it a favorite amongst link builders. SEMrush, on the other hand, doesn't have as an extensive backlink index. However, they make it up for their great backlink audit feature. This allows you to identify toxic links that could be affecting your site. However, this is something that you should be cautious with. It's an automated system that points out these toxic links. It doesn't mean you should completely get rid of these links and they should be checked manually. So if you're looking for regular backlink updates and metrics, I'd suggest Hrefs. But if you're not big on link building and just need an easy to use audit now and then, SEMrush has you covered. However, I think Hrefs takes the win for all link builders. Next on the list of features we're tackling is rank tracking. An essential feature for those without specific rank tracker tools. Hrefs has a rank tracker feature that tracks keywords, provides trends, average rankings, and visibility scores. SEMrush has also something similar called position tracking, but offers a bit more keyword performance with SERP feature tracking and competitor comparisons. Bear in mind, rank tracking usually requires a higher tier pricing, so you may need to fork out a little bit extra for this type of feature. There are cheaper alternatives if you're just looking to track keyword rankings like keyword.com and SE ranking, just to name a few. Our next topic is content marketing. For those content heavy SEOs out there, Hrefs and SEMrush provide some great insights for your content strategies. Hrefs has a great feature called Content Explorer, which allows you to search for the most shared and linked to content in any niche. It's great for identifying trends and sparking ideas for content. SEMrush, however, is a bit more of a content writer's dream as its content marketing toolkit can be integrated into Google Docs to optimize readability, tone, and keywords. I'd recommend SEMrush if you're a bit more of a content-based SEO person. Competitor analysis is key to every SEO strategy. Hrefs delivers competitor insights for organic search, backlinks, and top pages, which enables you to quickly identify your closest organic competitors. They also have important features like Link Intersect, which allows you to find links competitors have that you don't. SEMrush has these features with a great gap analysis feature for backlinks and keywords. Both tools here do a great job of identifying competitors and allowing you to deep dive into an analysis to bolster your SEO strategy. Before we cover pricing and value for money, I'll touch on integrations, bulk scraping, and automations. One for all the tech savvy SEOs out there. Hrefs can be pretty limited when it comes to integrating with third parties, as some of you probably know. However, its API is great for those looking to build custom tools. However, the batch analysis tool efficiently analyzes 200 URLs simultaneously, making it a favorite for quick audits and comparisons. SEMrush, on the other hand, integrates with Google Analytics, Google Ads, Search Console, and Trello, and other tools using Zapier. SEMrush also offers a bulk 
data export feature, allowing you to scrape and process data from thousands of keywords or domains at once. Perfect for large scale projects. This feature completely depends on whether you're comfortable creating custom tools or prefer using an integration like Zapier. Now for the finale, value for money and pricing. Hrefs starts at £99 per month, but key features like daily rank tracking, API access, and extra users, of course, cost more. SEMrush starts higher at about £105 per month, but includes more out of the box, like daily rank tracking, content tools, and integrations. Hrefs is ideal for solo SEOs focused on link building or backlink teams, while SEMrush suits agencies and content heavy teams who need all-in-one functionality at a higher price. Thanks for watching the video. I hope this helps you make the decision between HREFs or SEMrush for your needs and I'll see you on the next video.